it was a labor stare down and many say the Ford government blinked. While there's still no contract agreement with QP, the union representing school support staff workers says its members are ready to get back to work. The announcement happening a few hours after the Ford government promised to repeal legislation that made the strike illegal. Sean Cowan is live just outside of Queen's Park with more. Sean. Kelly, well, it really came down to what side was going to show some movement first, and it looks like the Ford government did, but it was quickly followed by QP. Now, even though both sides have agreed to return to the bargaining table, they are still very far apart when it comes to an agreement. Union leaders from all over Ontario, representing both the private and public sectors, are calling today a success. They were gathered in Toronto today for what was going to be a wider labour disruption announcement to show support for QP. But the tone changed after Premier Ford announced his government won't be using the notwithstanding clause, which made the strike illegal. I want to take a moment to speak directly to Ontario education workers, my co-workers and our members. We have our bargaining rights back. Doug Ford made his announcement just an hour before the union was set to speak. As a gesture of good faith, our government is willing to rescind the legislation. We're willing to rescind Section 33, but only if QP agrees to show a similar gesture of good faith by stopping their strike. Less than two hours after Ford spoke, we heard from the union. As a gesture of good faith to this announcement, QP OSBCU will be collapsing our protest sites starting tomorrow. We hope that this gesture is met with the same good faith by this government in a new proposal at the bargaining table as soon as possible. And I will be clear, we're here waiting right now. The time is ticking. So why did talks break down and who left the bargaining table? Well, it depends on who you ask. Ford says... Uh, they walked away from the table. We had no option but to use Section 33 to keep the kids in the classroom. But if you ask the union, they say that's not true. Our team never left the table. Our goal has been, and it remains, to get a fair deal that respects workers, students, and families. Now that both sides have agreed to go back to the bargaining table, but are still far apart on a contract, is QP prepared to walk off the job again? Short answer. Yes, because that is the right of all workers in negotiation and in free collective bargaining. QP says it's ready to go back to the table tonight. And the House will be back in session next Monday. At that time, they will introduce legislation to revoke the bill. Meanwhile, both sides will be meeting face-to-face -face at the bargaining table tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock.